In this video, I'm going to share with you the best defense that you can use to defend the gun spread offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And like I said, in this video, we're taking a look at a defense that you can utilize really against any formation uh, and kind of use the principle of what I'm going to teach in this video. But you can also use the exact setup if you're worried about defending a gun spread style of offense. Now, uh, guys, if you want to learn the entire defense. I'm going to put a link to my 4-6 ebook in the description of this video. The 4-6 defensive playbook has been the best defensive playbook for the last two to three years uh, in Madden. And this 3-3-5 to 3-3-5 wide defense is super, super effective. And it's actually really simple to set up. And that's part of what makes it so effective. So uh, what you're going to see here is I'm just going to kind of come out in a standard uh, concept here out of the gun spread. And then on defense, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the cover four show two in our audibles. We're going to come out in the nickel 335 normal. Really important though, what you wanna do is you want to have linebackers at defensive end and then you want to have safeties at the linebacker position. This is going to allow us to cross man different players. It's going to allow us to have better pass coverage in general because safeties obviously have better zone coverage than most linebackers and even more importantly in Madden they react to the ball significantly better uh, than linebackers the other advantage to this is that technically we're in a nickel package and so let's say they come out in an iPhone pro type of set it's very unlikely that we're going to get weak box because of the nickel uh, package that we are in so uh, we're going to come out in the cover four drop you can come out in any play that you want from 335 normal uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to audible over to the cover four show too now the first adjustment we're gonna do is we're gonna press and then really important, we're gonna manually back off both of our outside corners. The way that I do this is I hit triangle, I hit X and then I hit the receiver's icon and then I hit uh, flip the right joystick up of the corner that I wanna back up. So as you can see here, um, the that's that was what we've done. The reason we wanna do this is because if they run something like a smash concept with a smoke screen in that a corner, that outside quarter will defend the corner which is very, very good. Okay, uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to shift our defensive line to whichever side we want. Now, what I like to teach people is to go ahead and shift your defensive line to the running back side and crash the defensive line out. The reason why is because I'm going to actually blitz my user, um, which is this middle linebacker, and then I'm going to bluff blitz the defensive end that is on the outside of the line of scrimmage. So as you see in this example, if we shift them to the right, it's gonna be the right of screen defensive end. If we shift them to the other side, it's going to be the left of screen defensive end. The reason why is we wanna shift them to the side of the running back because a three receiver hook or a three red hook stands for three receiver hook, and the only side of the formation is three receivers to the right. Why? Because the running back is the third receiver. So wherever the running back's at, we like to go ahead and shift that. The reason, another reason why we like to do this is because you're gonna notice that the running back is going to be man-matched very, very well. He's gonna be matched by that linebacker. It's gonna be very good against seam wheels, running back streaks, running back angle routes, all of that stuff, you're gonna be able to have a really good uh, opportunity to defend that. And then the last thing that we want to do is we want to man up this uh, outside this blitzing linebacker on the uh, the the slot receiver. Okay, uh, now you could man him up on either slot receiver for that matter. I typically this is just me. I like to man him up on the slot receiver that I think is going to be on some type of post route, some type of crossing route. It, it, it really doesn't. You can man them up on either one of them, but it's really, in my opinion, best. Like in this example, you see I've got Gronkowski on the right and I've got Godwin on the left. Godwin's a bigger threat, so I'm going to man him up. So you'll see here just a basic spread concept, a little high-low between the out and the post. You've got a lot of opportunity. Now you see the coverage pretty much bags uh, everything that they're going to do. One of the best plays in Madden, honestly, this year is this uh, PA comeback. So I'm going to show why this is so good. Uh, but what you're going to see here is against PA comebacks, uh, what we're going to do is same same exact setup. Now, I'm free over the middle of the field here, right? So if this dig is something that can help hurt me, I can go get that. But notice this post route that is typically so good. You've got man coverage on it, and you've got a quarter zone that is uh, that is running stride for stride with it down the field. If you wanted to, what you could do out of this PA comebacks play is we could say, you know what, I could, and again, you could cross man that linebacker on anybody on the field. So I'm going to cross man him onto the tight end. 
what you'll see is if we do that against this PA comebacks type of play, now what we've got is that that guy is one on one with that quarter zone. So again, it's up to you. Whichever slot they seem to be throwing to more typically is the player that I like to go against. Typically speaking, again, typically speaking, if it's gun spread wise slot, most of the time it's going to be this left of screen guy. If it's gun spread like standard out of Arizona, it might be the other guy on the other side of the field. Okay, so that's just for you to decide. Uh, but as you can see, for the most part, this defense really does a good job. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of a, a standard uh, route combination. I'm just going to kind of create it. Uh, this is a Y cross type of combination. Uh, but what you're going to see is we're going to do kind of something like this. Okay, what you're going to see is your primary job in the middle of the field. You're opening up to this side and you're just looking for a crosser. If there's a crosser, you're going to run with it. But as you can see, it's very difficult to get stuff open against this defense. It's very difficult to bomb this defense when you use these specific adjustments that I am telling you in this video. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you is a little three wide receiver flooding combination uh, to the back side here uh, with the running back. And what you're going to see is, again, this is one of the things that this coverage is uniquely equipped to handle. Okay, it's uniquely equipped to handle stuff like this. So snap a ball, I'm opening here, I'm following here, nothing there. I can go back here, and as you'll see, this match coverage gets in great position to be able to guard corner routes. Corner routes are not as good this year as they have been in years past, but I will say that, you know, again, they're really good against zone drops. They're really, really good against zone drops, right? So the beauty of this quarters coverage is quarters and man coverage together, um, you know, really does a good job at taking away a lot of what people like to do. Let me give you one last thing uh, to leave you with here in this video. This is another combination. And like I said, you're going to open up here. If that guy goes, nope, he's not going. Okay, now I'm looking back here and now I've got the crosser and I can just run with that. And as you can see, this entire formation is really going to have a lot of difficulty uh, consistently moving the ball. Let me give you one last little thing or one last little thought, and that's when they motion. So let's say, for example, that they motion this guy, um, you know, maybe something like, like this, for example. You know, you get some something like this, okay? Let's just say, for example, you get something like this. Well, again, now, remember, we've got this guy cross-manned, okay? So he's not in, we're not in terrible shape. Um Typically, if I get this, I'll cross man onto the tight end. But the bottom line is, you'll see here, I'm sitting here. Oh, there's a crosser. Okay, I'll take that. And then maybe I'll work back over here into this area. But as you can see, for the most part, uh, pretty much anything people want to do out of spread is going to be bagged by one coverage. And that's why I like this, because it's such an adaptable coverage. It's a coverage that really molds itself to whatever they're doing. And you have two players plus a user that you can kind of use uh, to just kind of, you know, again, as they're doing things, I can, you know, man them up. I can take that guy or whatever. But as you see, very simple defense. You can set it up in a matter of seconds, and you're going to be able to pretty much hang with any major route combination, any meta route combination, any popular and effective route combination that people are going to use from spread to attack your defense. This coverage, for the most part, will stand pretty tall against it. Now, if you want to learn the finer points of this defense, if you want to learn a little bit more about how to mix it all together and create a defensive scheme, or if you just want to become a better Madden player, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. My my Patreon membership gets you immediate and instant access to every ebook that I have released all season long and every ebook that I'm going to release while your subscription is active. So you're not just going to get the 4 6 ebook, but you're going to get the 2 4 5 odd ebook, the 3 3 5 odd ebook, the 4 3 even 6 1 ebook, the 3 3 5 will ebook. And I'm working on the, the, the rest of them as well as we speak. And so uh, there's 13 ebooks that you're going to get instant access to. Defensive ebooks, we got eight of them. Offensive ebooks, we got five of them. And we're working on several of them right now under the, or behind the scenes. So if you want to get access to all of that content, and it's just 10 bucks a month join the patreon you can cancel whatever you want there's a link in the description below you go click that link and it'll take you right over to the membership site where you can join for just 10 bucks thanks for watching the video and again if you want to join there's a link down in the description just head on down there click that link it'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all set up